Hello, denizens of the internet. This emergency uh, video brought to you by OBS. This is the second time I'm using this piece of software. <laughs> Hopefully I do a better job with it than the next time. But I'm, I'm using this technology to talk about uh, what's on the screen here. Olympus is getting out of the camera business. So uh, I have many interests, you know, uh, Apple, Hackintoshing, building PCs. Uh, but one of my other passions is uh, cameras and I've been shooting well I was shooting professionally since the 70s and I've used Olympus cameras, Konica cameras, Canon cameras but I have a very um, soft place in my heart for Olympus uh, primarily because of this little beast here the uh, the XA travel camera so I've been I've had this I don't know since whenever it came out and I've taken it everywhere and I loved it and it's taken great pictures and it's tiny and portable and just an absolutely fantastic, fantastically designed camera and a joy to use. So it still works. If I had filmed, this thing would still, would still work. This clearly shows the quality of Olympus products, even, even uh, to this day. So now we've had a lot of camera blood in the water. Um, uh, uh, Pentax was bought out by Rico. I think Rico still makes some things, but uh, I, I'm, I don't know who's buying them. I think they have some specialty cameras. Uh, Pentax certainly has some large body specialty cameras. Uh, and we all knew a sense that there were going, there was going to be more, uh, you know, more camera companies that were going to be injured by this digital revolution. Certainly at the start of the digital revolution, point and shoot business became huge for Nikon and, and Canon and especially Olympus with its stylus brand of, of uh, cameras. But then uh, along came the smartphones and smartphones killed, literally killed the point and shoot camera business. So the volume business was, was gone I believe even Nikon right now is uh, suffering. Uh, so let's go to this article here from the CNN business. So Japanese image imaging company, which makes most of its uh, money from medical equipment announced Wednesday, it will sell its camera business to Japan industry partners, the company that acquired Vio from Sony in 2014. So I'm, I'm that this does not look particularly good. I, I don't know why Japan, Japan industry partners would buy Vio. Uh, yeah, it's just a portable built with generic PC parts. I, I don't even know if Vio exists in North America. Maybe it's a brand that uh, still continues to exist in Japan. Uh, but, uh, you know, that, that's a weird decision. Certainly, I would think that buying a camera company uh, has a more more upside. Except, again, there's the problem as soon as we now know that there's going to be a problem, or is anyone going to be buying Olympus cameras? Uh, we've got the sale marks an end uh, to... Uh, the sale marks an end to of hmm, Olympus's consumer camera business that began in 1936 when it was... when it introduced the Zuko, uh, Zuko branded camera. It sold its first lightweight SLR camera under the OM brand, which we all know is huge and iconic. Um, Olympus uh, launched its first digital camera in 1996, helping alongside competitors uh, such as Kodak and Fujifilm to usher in the digital camera revolution with its signature micro four thirds interchangeable lens system. Now, obviously they sold digital cameras prior to introducing the micro four thirds uh, system. Uh, I, the very first digital camera that I owned was an Olympus 1.3 megapixel camera. And it cost me nearly $600 Canadian. A lot of family pictures were taken with that, that camera. It was nice, compact. It reminded me a lot um, of this XA, which is maybe why I, I bought it. Or maybe it was the most affordable version <laughs> digital camera that I could afford uh, at the time. Uh, that's enough. But smartphones, we know this, but smartphones devastated the digital Camera business and Olympus consumer camera division recorded operating losses in each of its last three years, even after attempts at restructuring. So uh, Olympus has long been rumored to want to sell off its camera division. Again, we could smell it. We could tell that things were not going uh, well. Now, of course, those of you who remember, uh, Olympus was in a bit of 
you know, hot water. Uh, it had been rocked by a series of controversies, including a massive corporate corruption scandal in 2011 that revealed more than $1.5 billion in investment losses and alleged covert payments to the Yakuza organized crime syndicate. Really not the best way to manage a business, I, I think. So, uh, yeah. Uh, now, Micro Four Thirds. What does this mean for Micro Four Thirds? They don't discuss that in this article. Uh, I'm a huge Micro Four Thirds um, fan. I mean, I've got my G85. I've got my G9. Uh, I shoot all my videos on it. I think it's the absolute best system for, uh, well, the kind of videos that I'm doing. It does brilliant 4K, uh, and I, I don't need a better system than my G9 and my G85. It's just fantastic. So uh, I'm going to be sticking with that, but it will be a drag if Olympus drags Panasonic down uh, and um, and the Micro Four Thirds system disappears because of all these bad vibes. So I'm asking you folks out there, um, would you buy an Olympus camera now, now that you know about this story? Uh, that that's, makes it a very difficult purchase. So that's why I don't understand why holding companies buy, um, buy you know, companies in trouble like this, um, because uh, it's... There's not a lot of confidence in buying the product now. So even though Olympus's Micro Four Thirds cameras right now are some of the best professional cameras you can buy, and they make some of the best lenses uh, available from any manufacturer. And uh, like I said, I love the compact Micro Four Thirds system. I'm surprised that maybe Panasonic uh, didn't buy them, or maybe Panasonic convinced this holding company to buy them. So it still feels like multiple camera systems are, are making Micro Four Thirds products uh, available. So yeah, uh, it's a sad day. Uh, Denizens, I'd like to get your opinion. Those of you who are shopping around for compact Micro Four Thirds cameras, would you buy Olympus now? Till next time, so long. Bye.